Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? I want to welcome you. Yeah, you. Back to my channel. You read the news with your girl, Camilla Banks. You read the news. And I'm going to keep you right here in the news with me. Um, it's a lot going on, so I'm just going to jump right into what's been going on. Um, now, T.I. and Tiny um, responds to three new sexual assaults allegations. Um, three more women have reportedly come forward with claims of sexual assault by T.I. and his wife, um, Tiny Harris, but the couple continues to deny all allegations. Now, on Tuesday, April 6th, Tip and Tiny's attorney, who is Steve Sadal, released a statement to XXL on the Harris behalf. Now, the Harris continued to wait for the accusers to reveal themselves publicly. Now, Sato said, by hiding behind anonymous allegations, the unnamed accusers effectively rendered themselves not, not credible and unworthy of belief. Now, we say stop trying to manipulate the press and misuse the justice system and let the light shine on their identities so we can go about disapproving these falsely accusations. That's what they're saying. Now, the latest statement from the Atlanta couple comes after a new report of three new accusers speaking out about being sexually abused by T.I. and Tiny. Now, there are 20 victims who have made allegations uh, against Tip and Tiny. According to page six on April 2nd, a rep for attorney Tyrone A. Blackburn, who is representing several of the other women accusing uh, Tip and Tiny, told the outlet that Blackburn is speaking with investigations from multiple jurisdictions to pursue criminal charges against T.I. and his wife, who is Tiny. Um, now, Blackburn's spokesperson also shared the allegations made by a 20-year-old woman who claims that the couple drugged her. Now, the woman alleges that T.I. and Tiny pulled out a pill and forced her to swallow it. Now, after a meeting them, after meeting them at a Miami club back in 2010, now the woman alleges that she was taken to a hotel where in South Beach area of Miami and the couple security supposedly uh, confiscated her phone and tip forced her to take a powdered substance from his finger. Um, now, she additionally claimed that Tiny undressed her and proceeded to engage in sexual intercourse. Now, she said her body was numb, the room was slowing down, and she could not consent. She could not consent. Um, now, two other women accounts likened the 20-year-old woman alleged. Individuals also alleged that they had been drugged and also raped. Now, page six reports that one of the two women accused Tip and his male friend of drugging and raping her. Now, in a Miami hotel during Memorial Day weekend back in 2010. Now, the second woman claims that she was drugged and sex trafficked also in California, Florida, and Nevada. Now, last month, Blackburn revealed that six victims came out with sexual assault allegations of their own after he claimed to have sent letters to officials in California and Georgia back in February, seeking an in investigation against the couple. Now, prior to the six individuals speaking out, Blackburn was reportedly representing 11 accusers. Now, the news of Blackburn calling for an official investigation of the allegations made against T.I. and Tiny was first published in the New York Times since the allegations have suffered online. Production from the couple's, the couple's VH1 reality hit TV show, T.I. and Tiny, Friends and Family Hustles, has been suspended. Now, the growing claims of the sexual abuse against T.I. and Tiny stem from January of this year when Atlanta-based businesswoman Sabrina Peterson accusing the Libra Libra, scale Libra rapper of putting a gun to her head. Now, shortly after she shared endless accounts of anonymous sexual assault allegations and against the couple of her Instagram story. Now, again, T.I. and Tiny have 
fuck nice any claims made against them um yeah so what we have here is more women are coming out speaking out saying that this rape and drug was taking place by ti or anti -me. and the problem is now that these women are remaining anonymous they do not want to come out. They do not want to say who they are. So now their prosecutor is basically saying that we, if you can't show us who you are, then we can't believe you. This is a non-belief. Like all of these women are coming forth, but nobody is showing their face. So they're trying to, you know, not use the justice system, but they at least want to show these women, make them women, make these women show who they are. At least say who you are. At least let us see who you are making these accusations about us. If it's more than one, more than two, it's just like, kind of like with the R. Kelly and the um, Bill Cosby situation. It just was like, date rape after date rape after date rape after rape after rape. It's like never ending. But them women, I don't think they pretty much hit themselves. These women are hiding themselves. Now, there could be reasons why they choose to stay anonymous because of fear of anything happening to them, um, I, any, uh, you know, any retaliation against them. They're probably just scared, you know what I'm saying? Which, which they would be, you know, if these things actually happen. But right now, T.I. and Tiny are saying that these allegations are false. They are standing on it. They want these women to show who they are at this point. We need to see who you are. You, you're making these things up. Let's make this believable. Let's, basically, they basically saying, let's make this make some sense. You All y'all coming to force against me and my wife saying this, let's make it make sense. Um, now, I'm not taking no sides here. I'm just reading the report. These are her, These are the... Um, the accusers, which is T.I., the Libra, and Tiny. Um, that's his wife. So those are the two um, people that supposed to be behind all of this. Um, I just want to say a prayer for the victims involved and T.I. and Tiny, especially if they're being falsely accused of something that they didn't do. Because being falsely accused is one, is, is really not nice. And it, it could just be one, maybe something happened probably with one person. And now all these other women is coming forth saying is when, you know, they don't, they didn't take part in all of that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying maybe one person could be mad and then lashing out and getting other women to retaliate against them. I mean, that's why they would have to eventually show who they are. You know, show us who you are. Just don't say and come out anonymous. Let's see who you are. You, but like I said, they're probably scared. It's um, scared of retaliation, scared of things. But this is out in the opening. Y'all taking this to court now. It's nothing to be, as, to me, it's, I don't think it's nothing to be ashamed of or nothing to be scared of. If you're saying that these things happen, by all means, let's, let's see who you are. Let's see, you know. People going to think the way they want to think anyway. Um... But yeah, that's all basically that I have on this story. I will try to keep you guys updated on what's going on with T.I. and Tiny and these allegations. I will keep y'all updated. But um, for now, that's all that I have. Um, the song that you hear playing is by yours truly. It's called It's the Lord's Prayer. I'm going to put it down in the description below with my other song, I Am God's Greatest Creation. You can go and stream those both here, right here on YouTube. And um, if you want to help donate this, donate to this channel, you could go ahead. I'll put the cash app handle right at the bottom too, um, so you can donate. Feel free to donate. It, it's going to be just the way it's spelled, and my picture will pop up. Um, yeah, so um, I just want to let keep y'all on on what's going on. Um, I'm not like I said. I wasn't gonna hold y'all long. I want y'all to have a nice day, and just remember who you in the news with. Right here in the news. Until the next video. Peace.